Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Tutor. I'm Brandon and it's crack -a pack time. Whether you like that or not, um, I got two more packs of Iconic Masters and to compromise since everyone, a lot of people, didn't seem to like the length of my last one, I'm going to open the packs first so you see what I get and then we'll move on to the discussion of pack one, pick one in a draft, okay? That worked for everyone, so if you want me to show them them cards, there you go, and then you can just take off afterwards, I don't care, whatever. So. Remember, I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash boostertutor. If you donate $2 or more, you get into a drawing to win everything open in these cracker packs. So that's six packs of Iconic Masters you could be winning, All right? So let's get to the packs. All right, so we got two packs. This is how we're gonna do it. Open them up, see what we got. That's all you wanted, you can get out of here. Stay afterwards for a little draft discussion. Token, what our foil is. Lead the Stampede, not a bad card. And our rare, it's white. Oh, it's Norn. Oh, Avacyn Angel of Hope. Okay, there you go. And Bladewing Risen. Okay, so that's that first pack. Got some discussion there, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, token, our foil is a red card. Thunder, nope, Furnace Whelp. No, it's okay, dragon. Or, yeah. And then our... Oh, green card. What green mythics are there? So, four clicks. I see. Oh, Rampaging Bailos. We also had... Those, all right. All right, so if that's all you want to see, there you go. Let's go to the draft part. All right, so first we have Repeal. Not a very exciting card, but it is a bounce spell. Could cost a lot, could cost not much if it's a token, which is always nice. And you get to draw a card. It's not a bad card, actually. Killing Fiend. All right, so if you're going like a prowess deck or something, this guy would be amazing. Uh, it does have any evasion, which kind of sucks, so you can pump up a lot, and then, you know, he just kills a 1-1. One, one. But hopefully you're casting spells that will wipe their board, and he'll get in for a ton of damage. He's okay. Kind of have to draft around him. And, eh, I don't know. Not really excited by that. Prowess is a thing in this, but we'll put it over here for now. I think there's going to be better cards, though. Student of Ojitai. So, Prowess deck again. This is in white, though. Don't know if there was too much Prowess in white. Um, you don't even have to need white. It's 4 mana for 2-4, which is not exciting at all. Not really what I'm going to be doing. But, you know, incidental life gain can be pretty good, especially if you're like, against an aggro deck. So I'd probably sideboard this in against some kind of aggressive deck. Mana Leak. Cheap uh, counter spell. It's a fact they have to pay three. It can really hurt. It's probably like one of the best counter spells out there. I mean, one of blue is very nice. And the fact that most of the time they're going to have three. Really like it. Not going to first pick it unless I'm crazy and just want to go like complete control. Uh, but pretty good card actually. Wild size. Eh, not the most exciting. Plus two, plus two. And trample is okay for like. Two mana, mainly way better for one mana. The drawing on card is nice, but I don't think it's really worth it for three. It's a little too much for a camp combat trick. Balaged Scorpion. All right, so can destroy something maybe, but four mana for two, three. I don't like that. And the fact that a lot of times it's not gonna have a target. And if it does, it's like, who really cares about it? So can get, kill defenders pretty well. Walls with zero power, that's nice. But other than that, eh. There you go, Hunt the Weak. Green removal, very good removal. Pumps your creature, kills theirs, you're just gonna attack, you know, for more damage. Also, there is a little like, plus one, plus one counter theme in this set, so I really like this card. Aerial Predation? Eh, cyborg card, and even then, it's fine. Uh, I never could tell what this art was for the longest time, then I finally like someone pointed out, that's like a giant insect getting a leather, another dragon or something. I don't know. Ah, that art. Phantom Monster, four mana, four three three. That's you know a hill giant, and that's you know somewhat playable. Not exciting. Give it flying. Yeah, definitely gonna play that. Mannequin, get it? Is that new art? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not very excited by this. Uh, I mean. Helps you ramp a little bit. It's on a creature, but a very easily destroyed creature. Yeah, don't really like it. 
Rasheen Menderer. Ooh, no. I mean, well, four mana for a four four. That's not bad. That's fine. You can tap it to, you know, add a mana to only X spells, which, I mean, hey, if repeal comes around, there you go. But, I mean, how many X spells are in this set? I think there's like Genesis Wave and there's the Hydra. Yeah, not many. So I don't know if I'd first pick this. If I was going to, I'd first pick it over it just being a four, a four, 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 four mana. That's like the only reason. So put it over, eh, let's put it over here for now. Oh, geez. Sandstone Oracle. Yeah, that's pretty good effect. If you have, you know, one card and they have four, you draw three cards. That's amazing. Problem is it costs seven mana. Seven mana, colorless or generic, which is nice. Still seven mana. Um, if I wasn't sealed, yeah, I'd take this like, I'd like, yeah, I'll run this. But for draft, I don't know. I'd probably just take a pass on it for now. It's just too much mana. Blade Wing of the Risen. Talk about too much mana. Wow, okay. So, is this worth seven mana? Seven mana and you're going into two colors. You gotta get some dragons. Ah, it's a hard one. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's still just too much. Maybe this set's just super slow, though. Oh, let's see. And, of course, Avacyn, Angel of Hope. Huh, more mana. Okay. Oh, let's talk about all these. Let's just put them all over here, because apparently this is going to be a heavy Commander Mana Cost pack. Lead the Stampede. It's not a bad card. Uh, sorcery kind of makes it, like, eh. But if you need creatures, it's a good way to try and fish them out. Just hope you don't whiff. Five cards, though. So, I'm not going to first pick it, though. All right. So, question here is, can you ramp to seven or eight converted mana cost? Um, depends on the format. I don't know if this format is going to be slow enough. I, mean, I did open a pack with a ton of seven drops or more. So, I think if you were going to go for a high drop, uh, Sandstone Oracle doesn't really meet up. Uh... Seven mana for four four flyers, okay, and its effect is nice. But if you know you have more cards than them, kind of sucks. Blade Ring the Risen, seven mana, but it's two colors you're committing to, and you're committing to dragons, which is you know too many hoops to go through. I think. I think if you're going to take a high cost one, it would be Avacyn, Angel of Hope. I mean, yeah, it's triple white, but eight mana for an eight eight flying vigilance and indestructible, and gives all your creatures indestructible. Amazing, but. Like I said, don't know if it's very playable. If I was going to go out of these, I mean, this one, it's just a four mana, four, four. So no. Hunt the weak is a green removal spell. Really nice. Or you take a three, three flyer for four. I think I would take the removal spell. I like the phantom. Don't get me wrong. But I think I'd be a first pick, hunt the weak. But I mean, how are you going to pass up Abyssin? You're going to take this and you're going to try and make it work, obviously. Okay. All right, second pack, token out of here. Diminish, it's okay. It's a little combat trick. Just don't like this card that very much. I was gonna say you could use it on Abyssin, but no, it'd still be indestructible. All right, Dragon Lord Servant. If you're able to get like a ton of dragons, even just a few, this guy's pretty good. He's a nice blocker early game. Makes your dragon spells, which, you know, are gonna be expensive. One less, you're not gonna first pick him, but when he comes around and you know, you have like a couple dragons, you'll probably take him. Benevolent Ancestor. Ugh, talk about a grindy card. Three mana for zero four is not exciting. Defender, so, you know, couldn't attack with it if you pumped its power. And you tap it just to prevent one damage. I mean, it's good against a pinger. Uh, maybe a aggressive deck, yeah. But no, not excited about that card. Manly, we talked about this one. Cheap counter spell, pretty good. The fact that it's only one blue is really nice. If it comes around and you're in blue, yeah, take a couple, but you're not going to first pick it. Unless you're a crazy control player. Greater Basilisk. Let's come down to turn five. They don't have anything in the air. He's going to kill anything that tries to get through. Not going to first pick it, but in a green deck, that's a nice little, little curve filler up there just to slow the game down or whatever. Foul Tongue Invocation. Three mana at instant speed to have the opponent sacrifice a creature, so their worst creature probably, maybe a token, maybe not, maybe something that, you know, they really didn't want to sacrifice. Uh, and if you have a dragon, you know, gain some life, that's not bad. I'm not gonna first pick it, but like I said with the other one, maybe I have a couple of dragons, this comes around, yeah, take it, why not? 
making people sacrifice things can be really good, especially if they have little shenanigans going on. Dragon Bell Monk, not excited at all by this. Uh, three mana for 2-2 two, two isn't good. Add Vigilance on it, still not great. Add Prowess makes it a little bit better, but you're really going to want a Prowess deck for this to work out, so... Ugh. Wall of Roots comes down early, gives you an extra mana, extra green each turn. Yeah, that's pretty good actually, so... Makes you get your uh, bigger creatures out, at least a turn early. Eternal Thirst, no. Two mana just to give something lifelink isn't good. And the fact it might get, you know, plus one, plus one counters before it dies. Uh, yeah, it's okay, but you're really relying on, you know, your opponent's creatures dying, which will happen, but just probably not as much as you want. So, no. Hessian Thief, that's pretty good, actually. Um, three mana for one, three, that's not good. Has prowess, which, you know, can be nice. It can attack for a two, four sometimes. And if it gets through, you draw a card. Yeah, I like this card. It's a good blocker, and eh, it's not a great blocker because turn three, you want something a little bit bigger than a one, three. But the prowess does help. Wing Shard. Ooh, okay, so you have Storm tapping to make this, you know, somewhat good. And then they have to sacrifice only attacking creatures. Nah, it's once again too many hoops. I don't think Storm's gonna be a thing in this very much. Uh, double white. Don't like that. No, nope, don't like this card. Sorry. Chronicler of Heroes. Like I said before, uh, plus one, plus one counters are a thing in the set. So most of the time, eh. Yeah, like if you draft right, most of the time he's going to be drawing you a card. So three mana for a 3-3 three, three that draws you a card. That's pretty good. Two colors. Don't know if you want to first pick this, if he's, you know, good enough to first pick it and put you in green-white. But I'll put him over here now. But I don't think he's going to make the cut. And Craven Carotid. So, 3 mana for a 2-5 is a pretty good blocker, can kill things. Uh, and you get to draw a card, so maybe you have some ways to blink things. You can also draw more cards. I like that. That's pretty good. But, Rampaging Balos. 4 green green, so 6 mana for a 6-6. Six, six. That's pretty good already. Has Trample. That makes it even better. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a 4-4 four, four green beast creature token. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> And then Furnace Welp, that's actually better than it sounds. Uh, four mana for a 2-2 flyer isn't great, but late game you can pump it up to, you know, attack for four in the air. It's not bad. And it's a dragon, so maybe you have some shenanigans with dragons. Okay, so, well, that's a lot of green to be passing. <laughs> no matter what, you'll be passing some good green. And then get rid of the gold card, because you don't want to go two colors yet. Thief, I like, but I don't think I'm gonna first pick you. It's fine, but you gotta go prowess with that, and that's not going to put me in prowess, that's for sure. Brave, Greater Basilisk, pretty good card. 3-5 with Death Touch, good blocker. Not going to win me the game, but will stall the game. Wall of Roots, very good blocker early. Gets me more mana as I go, I like that. Carotid, 3 mana for 2-5 blocker. That's, that's a lot of blocking and a lot of um, things you can kill. Maybe do some shenanigans, pump it up a little bit, and you get like something even bigger of theirs they weren't expecting. You get a draw card, so even more value. But I mean, it's the Rampaging Bailoffs, obviously. Six mana for six, six with Trample is great. And in fact, you can just keep making four, four green beast tokens. That's amazing. It just makes an army when you drop a land. So it's obviously the Bailoffs. Kind of sucks you're passing a lot of green. I'm sure there's some people who'd be like, oh, I'll take a different color because I don't want to pass that green. It's like, who cares? The card's amazing. You got to take that. All right. Okay, so. Hopefully that worked out for you people that didn't like the length or just don't care, whatever. You're probably not listening anyway. So uh, so I could see taking Avacyn first just because it's such a big bomb. Maybe you want to just take that first just in case you're going to go super white. And that doesn't sound good. But, you know, or like, and then maybe, you know, the rest of the packs, they come out to be green and black. And you're like, oh, well, don't get to use this Avacyn, but at least, you know, I got to maybe try. So I can see that. I still think Hunt the Week's a more reasonable pick. But, you know, it's like Cotton Asters, go big or go home, right? Remember, you can follow me on Twitter, Booster underscore Tutor, and see you next draft.